Hi everyone, my name's Shel Hurst. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator here in Sydney, Australia. What a cold, miserable day it is today. Anyway, I am not a winter person, I can tell you that. I do not like winter. <laughs> I'll have to put up with three months, but I will be going on holidays and looking for sun. That's what I will be doing. But don't worry, all these videos will be done in times for you so you won't miss out. Today, I'm doing a team swap. So I'm getting my cards organized. And I thought, why not show you what I do in when I'm doing a line position of cards. So I've made one card already, and this is what we're going to make. And that's, and it's from Magnolia Mood, the stamp set. So I'm using this one, this one, and this little one here and i'm using the deckled circles dies these are found in the online exclusive part of my store i'll be using the brushed brass butterflies i have to say that slow because i'll get tongue-tied and moody mauve it's a color i don't use a lot but i really like it and i'm using the basic beige and also the paper is here it's all this gorgeousness and it is the widely flower flowering dsp all these um Things will be in my blog so let's get started <clears throat> so I've cut them all out so this time and I've cut out all the cardstock so <coughs> excuse me so what I'll need to do first is get my glue and I'm just going to glue these on Hopefully it won't take me too long, not too boring for you. So I'm just placing them on. This is my normal layer size and then one layer smaller. It's all in centimetres, but in my blog I've got it in um, Imperial as well to suit the American and Canadian measurements. Otherwise, because here in Australia and the rest of the world, we use A4 cardstock so I'm just doing all that Oops. It's, it's quite relaxing actually doing multiples because you don't have to really think you just do because I've created the design both sides of this paper is gorgeous but I picked the smaller <coughs> um, flower so I absolutely love the other side of it and um, you probably can see on this piece it's just gorgeous but because I'm doing a big flower I wanted it not to be sort of too in your face so I picked the smaller flower for that purpose and I'm just putting that on I'm using the glue so I get it sort of straight. I'm not getting it very straight. What's going on? Yeah, so I'm just doing that. So I only have to do nine. So I've already got one made. Just to let you know while I'm chat doing this, just chatting away, of course we're in June and um, we have a great bundle um, sale on. It's an additional 10% off. I'll have the details below and I'll get in as quick as I can because some of the stuff is already out, out of um, 
stock. People have gone crazy, which is good. So we've got that done. And we've got those to do. And now I'm going to put the ribbon on. And for that, I'm going to be using tear and tape. So I'm just going to um, just do a couple of pieces of tear and tape on my desk while I'm just chatting to you. So it will be easy for me to, to, um, to be, so I can be nice and quick. I should have done this before I did the video. And yeah, so we've got that going. Beautiful, you know, all the dies, bundles only. And we've got 10% um, off the cut and boss machine and the... I'm just going to put this in the center and this is the basic beige ribbon i'm just going to turn it around and just stick that on there yes so <coughs> and we also have the mini um stamp cut and boss machine on sale too so there's two mini so if you want to have the um hobo boho blue hobo <laughs> oh my goodness Ho boho blue is a little bit cheaper it's five dollars cheaper actually than the white so um you know they're the same machine it's just the color so if you want the blue i go and get that because i don't think they will restock those and they're gorgeous i've got i've got both naturally and um you know i actually i i really just use the white they're the same machine it's just you know like what mood you're in I suppose but I just grab what's closest to me and the white ones normally there but they're both exactly the same and you get all the plates and anything you need and it's a whole big bundle so it's quite good and if you're thinking about joining Stamping Up and you haven't this is probably a good time because you can get your cut and boss machine in your starter pack so no great idea and also at the moment there's a pre-order for people who are demonstrators for the online exclusives and they there's some really good ones there and the, the piece of resistance is that the glass mats are there now you probably remember me whinging that I missed out well this time it's been ordered so um, while I'm doing this film I haven't got it yet but as soon as I get it I will show it to you and um, I'm telling you it's worth joining stamping up just to get it because it get wet it went so quick like I was only like hours away from missing out I rang and they said no we've still got supplies and when they looked they go oh no sorry they've just gone and um, I just missed out and you know that was like I missed out by a day a day you know sort of thing when I was away and um, I couldn't order because I didn't have internet and they sold out in a day that was back in um, celebration time. So um, it's very unfortunate. So just telling you, for customers, it will be the... Let me just say that. I'm just going to crease these now. For customers, it's going to be the 3rd of July, and that's when the online... Um, exclusive sorry i was just trying to line that up can't do two things at once 
um, the, yes, so the 3rd of July, they will be all available to customers if you're willing to wait that long. But remember, if you become a demonstrator, you don't have to do what I'm doing. I mean, happy being the hobby demonstrator and just enjoying craft. My team, um, we're learning all different um, templates. We're up to seven, so we um, have to do number nine. And um, yeah, we're just learning different styles, how to make cards. It's fun, sort of thing. And um, that's all we do. We just have fun. And what else? Oh, that's right. We give present gifts away all the time and things. So we're quite, you know, active and have fun. And also, because my team's a bit smaller um, at the moment, it you also get to go into a larger group as well where there's more more things going on as well so you get an added bonus of being in two craft groups to start with so that's a, a bonus as well so i'm just going to um glue these fronts on because i'm done with that and then we can get into the stamping so I've, I've um, scored the base in half and now I'm just placing that on there. So that's done. I'll just get all the this work done first. And that's, uh, it's all fun. I love doing this. I love doing multiple cards. Actually, I have to do some multiple birthday cards later. So I normally don't show that all those things on video, but I wanted to show you this because card swaps are great. You know, we do this in the bigger team because you get more swaps. You know, I'll I'll probably get ten different cards. I'll show you those when they come from um, the ladies and until you get some great ideas. You know, they're so talented. And so are the males. They're very talented. Two more to go for this part, and we can put this part aside. Okay, so that's parts done. We're done for that, so we'll put them aside for the moment the glue back on we're going to bring in the big stamp and we're going to bring in the moody move open that up and just because it's a big stamp I just going to do it like this make sure it's nicely covered and I'm just not going to get everything in, but you get most of it in and just press so nice and even and there you have it. So we're going to do that nine, eight more times. This is the E block I'm using because it's a rather large stamp. Okay. 
and I chose not to put a sentiment on the front of this card because I really wanted to just show off the um, magnolia. And do the sentiment inside the card. So it's just a repetitive motion. But if you've got all your bits cut out, it makes it a lot easier when you're doing a mass lot of card making I'd love to know what you're doing To the quiet zone. Okay. This is a good time to play your favourite music and uh, and everything. So. After this, you give the stamp a good clean. Use the you can use the chamois or the stamp and scrub, but oh, because it's rubber, I prefer to use the the um, stamp and scrub because then I can condition the rubber as well with the spray I use. I'll show you that in a minute when we clean the stamps up. And one to go for this one. So we're going. they're done so that's great and now we'll be doing these and I'm going to be doing thank you for being you and then I'm going to use this little flower and I'm just going to put that sort of just in the corner there, just like that. So that's what I'll be doing next. So you've still got plenty of room to write. Isn't it? You can watch this, do this all day, just watching, stamping. It's just hypnotic. I love it. I love doing this. And I hope the people in the swap like it. I didn't want to make it too complicated because you know everybody's got different skill levels.
Okay. And the last bit here, done. So we can put that away. We're all our stamping is done now. Now it's just putting the rest of it together. Oh, just one other thing we're doing. So they're ready to go for the insides. We'll do that in a minute. And this, I'm just going to get my Winker Stella. And just on the flower, I'm just going to give it a bit of sparkle. You know, you don't want it to be too plain. And also with this, it brings out the the colour a bit and moves it around. So let's see if I get a bit of sparkle. This probably will end this one. It's been I thought it's finished a few times, but it still keeps going. You see, I press over this side so I don't get any globs. That's one thing you don't don't want is globs on your card. So So we've been very busy in our craft room here. We've been making lots of cards and I've been doing, you've probably seen some of the online exclusive, the older ones, because, you know, we get all this new product and we get excited to use it all. And then we forget about some of our favourites. And, and um, I like to mix and match it up a bit, you know, cards that, um, stamp sets that we used but now we've got different colors we've got different um, things we can add to it makes it you know makes it all sort of fresh and new and that sort of thing it's um quite good to use them every last bit out as I can <laughs> I have got a new one here I'll show you that in a second have to use that this one's just about finished probably can get a couple little projects out of it it's been a good they last for ages, they really do. And here's, I think, yeah, it's still coming out. See if we can make it to the end. I'm getting everything out of this <laughs> brush. I've had it for a while. I should I should um I probably had it for twelve months and I use it a lot. Yeah, they do last a while. <laughs> It would just be nice to add a little bit of glitz. Yeah, it's still going. This one's a 
same side. You see it's still in the chamber. So it's really nice to see the glimmer. Now I have got a new one <clears throat> and you can see the difference. See how this one is closes right up. And this one doesn't it's got a black stopper there that is to keep it there so what you need to do is to undo this take that off throw that in the bin this black circle screw that back on give it just a gentle squeeze and the contents will come down the chamber. It's supposed to. Yep, you can see how it's come down. You can see the bubbles there. I don't want to do too much because I don't want to get it on my project. So yeah, that's how you do it. And now it closes so it's ready to use. Okay. So you can see it all there. You know, it was stuck up the top there. So it's all ready to, to be used now. So I wanted to show you that. So now we'll get our dimensionals out. And we're going to put dimensionals on the backs of these beautiful stamped images that we've got. So we've got them all out. <clears throat> so now we're just going to put that five on each and that's a good measure because you've got one in the middle to hold it up so and this is good we've got them all there ready to go and have backings everywhere oh, it's amazing where you find these backings I tell you vacuum the stairs the other day and they're on the staircase I don't know how they oh they must have been on my body for it to um, be there you know find them in bed even though I change into pajamas they must come you know must have them in my hair or something I don't know they're everywhere Everywhere. Where's the strangest place you've had your, you found your um, dimensional backings? Love to know. They go everywhere. At least I haven't found them on the baby yet. So that's one good thing. But they probably will at some stage when he starts moving around. Can you believe my, he's four and a half months old? He's got watches. That's from a grandparent who just loves him to bits. <laughs> this is wonderful. Okay, so now... <clears throat> I'm just going to put the fronts on, so I'm just going to put the backings off. And I'm going to place it, just place it however you want. And I just want them up like that. Make sure you've got it the right way, because I have done that before. Who has done a card and it's been back to front because you didn't check? I think the beige goes really nice with this. And we've got so many new colours and so many colours to use here. Sort of get stuck on certain things, don't you? And then you don't um, 
use all the colours. Like I've got all the colours. And um, you know, I've been meaning to use the this the um, Moody Mauve. You know, use it a lot when they first come out because it's an in colour. So we've only got you know less than twelve months of this this beautiful colour to use, and um, I'm going to miss it actually because it is quite. It's a colour that you, you know you probably never pick, but it's a colour that comes out so nice. You know, it's a very underestimated colour, that's what I'll say. It's quite nice. And look at I cut some extra of these and I've stamped them. So right, I'll make some cards later. Maybe do a bit different. Maybe this one. I do like it. I've made two, two extra just in case I made a mistake. But that's all right. These things just on my jumper thing. That's how they get, they migrate. Before I put anything else on, let's get these insides done. We're going pretty well, I think. Oops, not too working. It's a full bottle, so I don't know why we weren't working. And I've got just wiggling that. assembly along with me. This is a bit longer than I normally do. So we've just got some final touches to do on the front of the card and then we are done. We've got the bows to put on. And and the butterflies, the brushed bar brass butterflies. See, I can never say it. <laughs> brushed brass. whole process but like finishing the finishing touches as well and it just brings it all alive okay so now that green glue is finished and I'll just pick up these papers because we know what's going to happen with them don't we they're going to be everywhere in the bin and now we 
do these fantastically butterflies. I, you can see I cut mine from the side because I find it easier. If I don't have to take the whole pack out, I can just get this out. Normally, oh, I can slide along. I've just got butterflies flying everywhere. So, I put a few around, just anywhere you want them to be. And I put just one large one, so sort of there. And I got the muted colours for winter, but the butterflies get a spring in. You don't see them unless you go to the tropics <laughs> now. <clears throat> I just spent um, a couple of weeks ago now um, some time in Cairns and that's in the tropics. It's Great Barrier Reef and it was magnificent. It's all the beautiful butterflies and birds and um, it was amazing. So hatchlings, birds were nesting and they were um, the kulus and they've got long legs, they're a funny looking bird and um, we were there for 10 days and in that time, the last, it was actually the last day, the, um, well, the second last day it was, sorry, at the, um, the two eggs hatched and they had their, their little babies and, um, and they, of course they're ground birds, they were like chickens in a, in a sense that they had all their feathers and, and everything and they were ready to run around as soon as they were hatched. It was amazing. I don't know what happened to the eggs. The parents must might have eaten the shells. I don't know what happened to them. But I think it happened during the night they hatched. And um, they make a ter they do make a terrible noise, those birds though. They um sound like a possum crying. It's a really high screech. And uh, you go, Oh my goodness, what's going on? Is someone being killed? But it's just the bird telling, come, I'm frightened, or it's your turn to look after the nest. And it was, yeah, it was funny. I used to wake us up a little bit. All right, so I've got the bows now. And I'm just going to use a bit of seal. And I find that a bit better than the, when I'm using thicker, but those this is um, the best to use because it seems to hold them in place longer and i'm just before i'm putting them I'm just making sure they go down and what i'll do i'll trim them all up off camera because i don't want to hold you up any longer than i had to have to speak so there's a little bit of story time and Telling you what's going on in the standing up world. There's lots going on actually. There's always lots going on. You want to keep up to date, go to my blog or to my Facebook page. Um, you're already here on YouTube. Um, I'd love it if you share my videos to friends who might think they might like it. Like in a, you know, some of the crafts. I, I try and keep it simple and I will be doing um, a bit later on. Um, I've got quite a few fun folds to do as well. So that's exciting. So I'll be doing a fun fold um a lot, whole lot of fun folds as well so um keep an eye out for that that'll be soon um i'll just got a few here i'll just there and 
this is it. So I hope you like my swaps. I hope that people who are going to get them like it. <clears throat> so, and it's quite easy to do a batch of cards. So I hope you do like them. I just bring it up. So, well, it's taken me 40 minutes to do the nine cards from scratch. So that's not too bad. Anyway, thank you so much. I'll see you later and um, have a wonderful day. See you later. Bye.